Double K Beats, Double K Productions, I am back with you in Priest on the Studio 1-4, back with another, another tutorial. This tutorial is how to get vocal reverb to sit perfectly in the mix, man. How do we do that? How we get the reverbs to sound good? So this one took me a little while. I just wanted to get a good reverb that sounds real futuristic, hence of the song futuristic, inside the mix. So with that... If you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed to the channel, please smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post something. Hopefully, I can get to 2,000. It's slowly getting up there. I'm at just 50. I need 50 more people to smash the subscribe button. Hit the no Also, hit the thumbs up button and leave comments would always help. But 2,000, I'm just right there, just peeking. Let's jump into it, man. The song is called Futuristic Dance Off. The link will be in the description below. Just hit Friday the 21st. Hit out then. You can go check the song out. It's brand new. It's fresh. It's out there, all right? So let's uh, take the loop off here, and we'll just play everything going on, all right? We'll just play it real quick. Play the whole last hook for you. I feel like the song takes off, all right? So we'll mute all that out again and we'll find the reverb that, that sits just right inside this mix. Now, finding the reverb, it's all about the timing, the spacing that's going on in it, uh what the what the what the beat's doing and what sounds going on in the beat and just having space. So reverb is about space just as much as delay is too. So when you finding that reverb, you just, you know, you got plates, you got rooms, you got halls, you got ambience, you got space, you got all that, all right? So find the reverb that match, which finding the reverb for this song, I uh, I use I use multiple ones of stock and stuff just to see, but I normally always go to the Manny when I'm, I just can't seem to find the one that's working, so I go to the Manny, because the Manny has all kind of, got a hall, room, cham chamber, plate, space, ambience. Okay, and it's small, medium, large, simple, and then you can mess with the lows, the mids, the highs, and compress it a little bit, whatever, and the rate, the phase, and distortion, all that good stuff, all right? The time and the pre-delay. I normally go to this one because it has what I'm looking for, just that quick. If I want some real ton reverb, Manny has it, all right? If I want a little bit, I might go to the Lexicon or something like that. So finding the right one. I got two reverbs, okay? I got the reverb going on with a delay going on. That way to make sure the space is taken up. And then I got a long delay going on, which it's the same delay. It's large, and it got a little bit more distortion onto the, the reverb. I keep saying delay. Reverb, all right? So let's solo it out so we can... Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's just let y'all hear the long delay. It's not too much. It's not present. It's just in there, okay? We got to unmute this. <laughs> Okay, it's longer, got more distortion on it compared to the regular one, all right? So let's let y'all hear the regular reverb going on. So we'll turn off the long delay, I mean the long reverb, and just play the... The main reverb that you hear throughout the whole entire song, all right? And we'll turn on the beat to make sure we're hearing it to the... Okay. 
We got some distortion going on. We got about 23 going on. We got the phase going on, 4.5, not too much. I had a lot, but I had to dial it back. And we got a medium plate, all right? If I, uh, as far as the plates and halls, if I had to turn this to a hall, it'll be so much. It wouldn't have no space like it needs to be. It'd just be too much reverb going on. So I wanted a thin little plate. Now, granted, I don't like plates on songs like this, but... It works, so I, I kept it, you know what I'm saying? Like, a hall would definitely work. A space would work, too. But as far as having so much going on in the hook, I didn't want that to be overpowered, like a hall or a space to be overpowering. So I just went with a thin plate. It sounded a little dead to me. The reverb just don't ain't, ain't spitting my knee. But as far as the song, everything working together, it works together, okay? So I kept it that way. And we'll... uh. Well, unmute all this. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So finding that reverb. First, it's off the beat. What's going on in the beat? You got the beat, it's telling you, you got reverb on the beat. You know what I mean? And we can find, try to find the right one. We can put it on the hall and see what a hall does, all right? We can switch it up. It's just finding that perfect one that fits inside the mix. And what, he, what I'm talking about in the mix is the whole entire mix, not just, you know, just to fitting it with the beat. It's the whole entire mix with everything going on, okay? Got it turned off. Yeah, they turned off. All right. So we'll solo it out to find out. I'm sorry, I'm playing so long. Dance something you no know one's going to stop me. Yeah. I'm just a little rocky till I reach the top. We'll solo all these out because it's the whole entire mix, right? And this is what I normally do when I'm trying to find that reverb. I take the main lead of the hook or verse, whatever we mixing, and I turn the beat on. Now let's find... What sounds good inside this this beat? And then most likely everything gonna fit together and you turn everything on. If that hall sounds just too muddy once you everything is playing, well, we gotta find which one sounds good. But this is the way I find the one that sits perfect. By t working with the time, working with the pre-delays and stuff like that, I find which one's gonna work perfect by soloing the hook out, soloing the main lead, let's say it like that, the main lead in mixing terms, and soloing the uh, instrumentals out, the beat. Key part about it is turn it up, man. It's muted up. I blast off. This is a my dance off, and no one's gonna stop me. Cause I'm just gonna rock it till I reach the top. Cause this is my guy. Futuristic dance off. Futuristic dance off. 
space works. Now space works. Okay, I could have rocked with that or large space. That sounds good to my ears, and I can rock with it. I can turn it down, make sure it ain't it ain't getting clogged up with all it, the everything going on. So we'll turn the space on, and we will turn all the vocals back on. It's the whole entire mix. Okay, and I keep saying that because we get confused. We solo things out. Sounds good with this one, but it don't sound good when everything's playing, or it don't sound good in mono stuff like that. It's too too much, too much for what's going on. I got a lot of takes going on right here trying to have their own space, and I put on a big reverb. Now I don't have that space. They all going inside this one reverb. Now you can make, you can put reverbs on each different tracks. It don't matter. I have one reverb working for all these, all these, uh, all this hook. Now when you get to the verse, that's a whole other reverb. But for this hook, it's just one one reverb working. Now, you can go in and play, okay, reverb, take reverb off of this one, put it on here. Blase, blase, okay? It's all on, all, all on you. But to sit it right in the mix, you can play. Play. As far as another reverb, is the one knob weather okay okay that's how you get a reverb to sit properly in the mix Find the reverb, solo, solo one, your main take. I have multiple takes, okay? If you have that main take, solo it out and make sure, or you ain't got a solo. If it's just one main take, just have it, play it with the beat. Find it, sit right. It's still all about the timing. Well, like I said, we could have put the space on, but it don't sound good to me, so I left it with the space, and then I found the timing. That way, the timing ain't 100%. You know, if I brought it down a little bit in the pre-delay up, that way it sits just right inside. That sounds good. Everything rocking. It's clear. It's there. It's in the pocket. Everything is just not too muddied up with the whole entire mix. So if I turn it all on and we back at the plate, we should be back at the plate. And the timing should just be right. You know, tweaked it just as much. And it, what, it was a medium? main hook a futuristic dance off link will be in the description below i would love for you to go stream it and check the whole entire song out you can't just get you can't just understand the song by just listening to the hook there's my verse my little brother's verse and then his good old singing throughout the hook baby and a nice intro too the intro was nice too so you can't you don't you can't judge a song just by listening to the hook make sure you click on the description link in the description to go stream it all my music is out man all my music is out and i don't show your stuff that ain't out all right but anyway uh i'll be back to show you more of what i've done to this particular song every time i make a new song i want to show and teach and give knowledge of what i have done to the mix is every mix is different there's going to be something different about every different every mix that i do all right so subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you can notify every time i post them also leave a thumbs up comments always help requests always help all right if i left anything else out 
that you want to know, make sure you, you leave it in the comments. This is Double K Beats. Holla. Uh -huh.